Hi and welcome to the weekly predictions uh, based on astrology for the week of May 25, 2020. Uh, so for this week, uh, the ongoing background uh, influences uh, include the influence that I've talked about for the past year and um, 2019 and as well we will have this continuing into 2020 and that has to do with this slowly uh, unfolding uh, planetary transit of Pluto and Saturn conjunct in Capricorn and these typically coincide with major geopolitical shifts increased uh, seismic activity, various uh, large-scale disasters, and or um, pandemics such as uh, like AIDS, and of course now we have this uh, COVID-19. Uh, but uh, major kind of slowly progressing um, situations that do change um, basically how power, powers are divided in the world and or maybe there is a major situation that displaces a large number of people due to some sort of a cataclysm or a war. So for uh, this week, uh, the strongest influence of this type is going to be experienced on May 25th through 27th, especially on Tuesday, May 26th. And this particular week, you know, the flavor of the week is that it may somehow involve also either wet weather or excessively windy weather or fog and or um, areas that are close to water or, you know, maybe situation may be underwater, over water, near water, and it may uh, particularly involve a large burst of energy. So something that explodes or perhaps you know, like a volcano eruption, just a lot of energy is released. Another uh, sort of ongoing influence that we have that is uh, mostly, not mostly, but that will be felt on off this year, uh, but it will be intensified in uh, August, but we will still be feeling it sort of as this background influence kind of developing and intensifying is increased focus on uh, governmental regulations, various controls, embargoes, taxes, tariffs, shortages, delays, and or building of some um, structures or reorganization of, say, at the top of various corporations or literally building new structures, new buildings, and those would have to do with either governance or controlling something or regulating something. And uh, whatever is built, again, be it an actual physical structure like a bridge, for example, or uh, reshuffling at the top of some corporation, those will likely also be um, fairly rigid kind of uh, new structures that will probably stand the test of time or at least will stand for a few decades. And at the same time, these kind of changes may be, uh, may, may be accompanied by pushback in the form of anti-governmental protests or some sort of acts of violence or also news about corruption, scandals, uh, or you know whistleblowers coming and saying you know certain things about again the established corporations, for example, and again that may lead to reshuffling, where some leader may be removed because of some scandal or because of the whistleblower coming. In particular areas that may experience this the most, uh, more more likely will be related. Oh yeah, and also it could be associated with bankruptcies, maybe either hiding information about financial sort of uh, problems or declaring bankruptcies in the areas that would be affected the most uh, will be um, related basically to retail sales, communication and transportation, so anything to do with like travel, social media, newspapers, cars, rental car businesses, we just had Hertz file for bankruptcy last week, um, but similar type of businesses and also businesses that have to do with um, situations or not situations but rather deal with things that are uh, occurring underground so maybe any sort of, any sort of mining activities uh, or uh, perhaps uh, any secrets you know like maybe some spying etc all of these maybe kind of um, uh, being more in the news this year specifically and especially for both you know globally and also for China and US independently we will hear uh, even kind of an uptick of such news in August and for US um, I would pay attention particularly to uh, August 13th through 21st and for China 9th through 17th. 
And let's see, another sort of a background influence that will be uh, with us through July 7th of this year and then will intensify November 16th through December 12th later, later this year will have to do with focus on international agreements, negotiations, diplomatic uh, relations, partnerships, um, etc. And there again, there may be some news about either whistleblowing or some secrets coming up or some sort of uh, information where previously it was hidden. Again, perhaps about some wrongdoing, maybe hiding, like I said, taxes or manipulating the situation and those things may come up. And uh, that may in turn necessitate or lead to increased governmental controls over the situations or uh, perhaps imposing some limits on financial flows or stricter guidelines or even changes in how something uh, how, how taxes are collected let's see as far as the china and coronavirus uh, related uh, news uh, i still see that we will have potentially intensification of related news uh, in August through November and for China specifically November 9th through 13th will be even the, the kind of a, the most significant time where it will either be associated with a resolution of this issue where some sort of conclusion is um, derived where okay we've conquered this completely and now we're moving on with our you know usual um, t typical, you know, lifestyle, or there may be some significant news about, say, a vaccine, or just basically some sort of some highlight where the situation is finally coming to some sort of conclusion. But before that, we will still have, like I said, August through November, there may be one or two more either waves of the coronavirus outbreaks or announcements that are related to how related activities are handled so for example you know how labs are uh, you know either secured or research conducted or just some other reforms uh, that are related to healthcare and that's both for you know it's more specifically for china but obviously it will have impact on uh, news in other parts of the world as well as far as oil prices through like um, mid-may i would say to mid-june uh, especially coming into June 8th or 15th, there will be an intensification of all sort of news related to oil, as well as gas, chemicals, etc. Uh, but specifically for oil, there may be still upsets. And again, I think that sometime um, early to mid-June, there will be more either tensions or fighting that relates oil, maybe even attacks on say oil tankers or refineries or even just a gas leak resulting in the fire, fire at an oil rig, or some problems with you know oil deliveries again that have to do either with really an attack or arguments, fighting, and or just global tensions. And these uh, potentially may involve like US Iran tensions, or it could be you know even an accident, like I said, oil leak or maybe some sort of volcanic eruption for some reason it happens to affect you know oil production or delivery or supplies and um, this week the most intense sort of uh, day I would say for this kind of influence will be the 26th 27th of May but this um, uh, ongoing sort of situation will continue to becoming more and more I would say escalated more tense and uh, specifically like June 3rd and then June 10 and 11, maybe and even June 8, um, will be fairly tense days, days uh, where again, there will be more fighting and might also bring the oil prices down again. I guess they're slightly recovering right now. And or there will be some escalation of any sort of tensions among either oil producing um, companies or about contracts or exploration uh, as well as any other issues that are related to sort of Neptune in general so not just oil gas uh, but also you know like I said chemicals and Navy anything that has to do with ships transportation over water and uh, excessively wet weather as well maybe um, uh, experiencing again some sort of turmoil between now and early to mid-June especially. So as far as the market direction, on Monday, markets were closed, US markets at least were closed. 
on Tuesday the 26th I had previously predicted uh, market being down primarily because of this ongoing global tensions however actually I'm recording this on Tuesday the market happily ended up up uh, mostly Dow Jones Nasdaq was up just slightly uh, so the uh, sort of a global instability at least in this case did not seem to affect the individual day uh, days um, market direction for the rest of the week I do think Monday, Wednesday through Friday there's a great probability of market continuing to go up rather than down so up Wednesday through Friday that said this week looks relatively easy so to speak uh, but then starting uh, next week and next two weeks so early to mid June I think will be more and more tense and again there may be some issue related to oil prices and or even healthcare and pharmaceuticals where there will be either arguing or tensions and that I believe over the next two weeks will be uh, resulting in more down days overall especially um, like I said 3rd, 8th, 10th and 11th of June let's see so for May 25, 27 especially the 26th uh, there's a greater the usual probability of various like strong seismic events, uh, volcano eruptions, um, earthquakes, mudslides, uh, violent attacks, and anti-governmental protests, uh, various accidents, fires, explosions, including nuclear power plants, nuclear uh, I guess waste facilities, any sort of uh, recycling plants, and there also may be uh, increased news about bad weather, in including. Um, that involves rather excessive winds and excessive uh, precipitation and there may also be increasing news related to areas uh, like oil gas prices as well as chemicals pharmaceuticals healthcare navy religion movies beverages and all of these good neptunian um, things let's see and i did predict again market down for the 26 that didn't seem to come through but the uh, tension sort of uh, in the air i think does remain for US, May 25 through 27th, may see increased focus on business and um, projects or um, new initiatives that are related to IT, telecoms, airspace, high tech electricity, electric cars, social media, various gadgets, anything that's like high tech, cutting edge. And of course, we do have this announcement of the uh, uh, SpaceX launch potentially or tentatively scheduled for the 27th but in general whether it happens or not it actually is a time that's beneficial for us in terms of developing um, or starting sort of projects in those areas at the same time there may be um, some surprising events even accidents I'm not sure that I don't necessarily think that SpaceX will have an accident but there still may be more news about various like uh, service outages or system overload or power outages insufficient power so accidents or is issues like you know sites being down due to insufficient power or weak engines or fires fires maybe related uh, as I said before to either gas leaking or some sort of liquid that's leaking so this combination of something that's liquid or gaseous and then it explodes uh, and or just risky activities so if somebody's driving too fast foggy weather and uh, confusing communication directions so again could be increased news about um, you know accidents specifically involving maybe something like a bus driving and there was fog and they didn't see the directions or you know something like that something that's unclear and they don't see and they're basically taking the wrong turn um, so that's just increased probability of that and that's specific to US let's see then in the US for the 26th uh, there may be minor positive news uh, related to healthcare workforce and governmental initiatives and those may involve basically uh, announcements about either increased support to say healthcare workers or healthcare you know projects increase in benefits or some sort of improved conditions for the 27th and 28th globally uh, I believe there is an increased probability of some important announcement related to either retail sales or communication and transportation businesses that in includes uh, cars airplanes drones newspapers IT social media uh, media platforms especially those that are for young people including education projects or education platforms um, and retail sales anything basically that moves and flies fast 
especially through the air and or is geared towards young younger uh, generation and uh, this this announcement may be about like a new initiative or a new project maybe a new company that's you know providing products specifically for education online for example something like that or about new innovative ways of delivering um, some products for example or making things kind of uh, delivered or shipped faster and or about say drones that where we're talking about these multiple smaller objects but that move fast and um, via air to deliver something like with the help of wind or they're moving through the air so this kind of a project some sort of innovation uh, may be announced and uh, or some sort of new approach that uh, approach that aims to break a previous record or an announcement of something that moves super fast that breaks a previous record or sales are exceeded expectation maybe some new gadget or phone exceeds the expectation in sales or app uh, or like I said new online education platform is announced uh, and or on again 27th 28th of May there is increased probability of unusually windy weather and obviously there will be windy weather somewhere in the world <laughs> on any given day but we're talking about something that strong winds in places that they don't normally have uh, much wind at all or perhaps uh, like some sort of winds that blow uh, at record-breaking speed so like a hurricane I guess or something like that or um, tornadoes for example uh, for the 29th for us there may be increased focus that's friday there may be increased focus on businesses and projects related to it telecoms airspace high-tech electricity electric cars social media gadgets etc so again similar topics about this whole innovation innovation etc but this time the news may focus on like a prominent leader new leader or new project initiative so some sort of new announcement new leader comes up you know or something is clarified that this new initiative is now getting more clarification uh, or clarification maybe who the new leader is or uh, the status of the leader changes and or uh, there may be again a new project announced related to transportation communication retail sales or education then globally getting into the end of may and that's weekend may 30th through 31st uh, we may see rising tensions again gl globally that's something that might be then culminating the week of june 8th and that will probably involve around some sort of a international disagreement especially involving oil or gas and or some argument and fighting around again gas oil but also could be chemicals pharmaceuticals infectious diseases 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 navy transportation over water fisheries mental health confusion drugs religion music movies excessively wet weather and beverages so basically, as I already mentioned before, this Neptunian uh, type of uh, activities may experience some sort of a stress and uh, fighting or tensions, or there may be a spike in like infectious diseases or some sort of a confusing information uh, may be spread that leads to anger, or protests, could be fighting over religion, attack on oil refineries, maritime accidents, um, disagreements about pharmaceuticals, uh, attacks involving Navy ships or personnel or healthcare providers, musicians, actors, or religious figures. So uh, these areas may experience some stress, some fighting, or some accidents. And let's see, then moving on to early June, so May 31st through June 5th, especially June 1st and 2nd, uh, there's again increased probability of rising global tensions and uh, of kind of an increased number of geopolitical important geopolitical events seismic activities leadership changes through some violent means anti-governmental protests earthquakes accidents etc and it's also at the same time so the first week of june or so there will be increased focus on earnings and especially in communication transportation areas and at the same time there also will be some intense focus of tracking serving the news perhaps uh, of oil uh, not oil, gold prices and there may be some sort of issue again the first five days or so of june where the oil price will almost either remain the same or there'll be news about it every day about something that affects oil uh, so, sorry gold prices either accumulation of gold or whether it should be invested in or some sort of news related to gold where it's the situation may, may not be clear for a few days i'm not quite sure what it is but that's sort of my general prediction uh, of 
what we may be hearing about in early June. And then moving on to the week of June 8th, uh, I believe it will be fairly tense times, both in terms of just increased attacks uh, involving again either you know navy ships, religious figures, places of worship, movie theaters, you name it, um, but also you know fires, accidents like an attack on a refinery or something like that. Uh, at the same time, there will may also be uh, either a new wave of, say, COVID-19 deaths and or, or, or even not necessarily deaths, but uh, uh, perhaps the um, spread may increase. But at the same time, there may be also news about some other epidemics, uh, especially those that relate with like contamination of water or through uh, some sort of liquids, so maybe like cholera uh, or, uh, you know, dehydration, fever kind of symptoms. So there may be just news in parallel about some sort of outbreak of such a disease um, at that time. And there also may be increased number of important news and announcements from uh, pharmaceutical industry. And again, there may be some disagreements about what the announcements will be or the announcements are uh, perceived kind of negatively because they may be seen as something that's being pushed. Of course, we're talking about maybe some people can be uh, can interpret this as a vaccine being pushed, but it may have to do more with uh, just things being done in a more risky, kind of a rushed manner than usual, because again, we have this influence of Mars coming to join um, Neptune and Pisces at the same time, and Mars likes to push things and kind of make things happen faster, and obviously it's not the, the most um, sort of comfortable position in Pisces to do that. Uh, Pisces make things kind of unclear, uncertain, and um, vague, and certain clear information is lost. So at this time, there may not be clarity as to uh, how something should be used, or what it's for, or is it done the right way. And this may trigger this outburst of anger uh, over these related situations. Um, so it could be, you know, maybe the uh, liquid uh, is seen as like impure or it's unclear what's in it for example or uh, like i said the cholera is spread and because the water is polluted uh, or th there may also be increased um, news about athletes who are say doping so it's again unclear uh, did they take some sort of a like drug and prohibited substance or they didn't uh, there also may be uh, attacks on pl places that relate to all these Neptunian sort of influences. So any th businesses that relate to oil, uh, producing of chemicals, places of worship, navy, uh, marine life, fishing, beverages, drugs, mental health care facilities, prisons, monasteries, etc. These places may see more fires than usual. And we already had some news from Russia that they were experienced um, fires in various um, hospitals so we may hear more uh, of that could be again fire in a prison fire in a monastery etc so any of these secluded fire lab or laboratory uh, that processes some sort of a biomedical uh, stuff and uh, or fire at a chemical factory and uh, let's see and there also may be large stock mo moves and probably a big drop especially on the 10th and 11th of June. So now to quickly rewind and see if I missed any important announcements for the last week. Um, I didn't see too many news about um, earthquakes. Uh, I'm sure there were like four point something, five point something. I didn't see any like a truly giant earthquake announcement, but I'm sure um, you know, there were ongoing, and I think there were more earthquakes than, say, the previous weeks. And again, this early of this week, we do have increased probability of seismic activity. And this will continue into, like I said, mid-June or so. Uh, there also, of course, were news about uh, dams in Michigan uh, collapsing. And that's exactly corresponds sort of to the kind of influence we would expect with uh, Saturn conjuncting um, Pluto. Uh, fall of these large objects made of stone, but also with this addition of water being basically spilled all over the place. So we will have again more and more of these kind of situations, especially involving water or chemicals or at least Neptunian topics going into early to mid-June. And of course we had this tensions between like Trump and 
uh, WHO where uh, Trump was pushing them to quote unquote make major improvement before US would freeze funding. So that's again relates to healthcare. Uh, of course, we have all kinds of news about vaccines, trials, medications, this trials of this uh, chloroquine suspended because of potential risk to COVID-19 patients. So all of this uh, kind of uh, the, the, the theme of this pharmaceuticals and also, but then some concerns about it or themes of concerns about oil prices or pollution with chemicals, pollution of water and uh, news about like Iran, uh, Iranian ships going to Venezuela again with oil over water again double neptune we have here but yet involves you know military because it's navy it needs to be or at least uh, venezuela i think was guarding them or something like that to prevent attacks on those ships so this kind of tense military situation or situation involving some problems surrounding these neptunian topics this will uh, go on this week and especially will even intensify uh, in the upcoming two weeks uh, we also had news, I guess, this last week that Johnson & Johnson ended baby powder sales in the U.S. and Canada after a lawsuit uh, basically uh, said that it uh, is linked to cancer. It will sell it other places. But again, we have this news about chemicals, but the news is stressful or involves these concerns about health and uh, a stoppage, I guess, of uh, a particular uh, project or discontinuing the sales of this project obviously is not a it may be seen as a positive news for one category of people and maybe negative for people who actually wanted it uh, but regardless what i'm saying is that the theme of increased news of chem about chemicals poisons drugs etc this will continue and will intensify this week into the next two weeks and there was also news related to this uh, situation in michigan with two dams collapsing that uh dow inc had to last week uh they on wednesday they had to shut their operations in their headquarters in that um uh, particular uh area in midland michigan because the flood waters breached the sites um uh at their containment ponds so again we have this water um coming in contact with chemicals so what water pollution again so if we have any sort of fighting for example coming in like week of june 8 the situation would involve for example an attack on some sort of ship or a ship just experiencing an accident and spilling oil in the water for example or burning of the oil you know in the water and leading to oil pollution something like that oh let's see and yes the flood in michigan uh supposedly is been called like a 500 year flood so it's a fairly major event um let's see we also had news last thursday that uh dutch emergency services um had to attend to a fire at an abandoned nuclear plant and i, I haven't followed up on it I'm, I'm sure it probably they were able to put the fire out however with this ongoing also conjunction um uh, not very tight conjunction but still a conjunction of jupiter and pluto uh, for this whole sort of for the rest of the year uh, that definitely is a greater than usual risk of um, uh, some sort of problems that relate to nuclear uh, plants or contamination with nuclear waste or any radiation let's see then of course we had a uh, news uh, last friday about the plane passenger plane in pakistan uh, crashing near airport and uh, Obviously, unfortunately, those things happen every once in a while, but this year, um, because of this Jupiter, excuse me, Saturn-Pluto conjunction, with the times that some sort of um, faster-moving transits make aspects to that conjunction, there will be greater number of such accidents in general, and unfortunately, through the end of the year, it will continue to be tense and with greater probability of various accidents in general. Let's see, and... Um, Oh yeah, I guess the largest earthquake that I noted to myself last week was 6.1 in Mexico. But again, there are other um, sort of same medium size, so to speak, earthquakes um, all over the world. Um, and I think that again, this increase in seismic activity will continue, but it may not be accompanied also 
uh, with either windy or wet weather for this week and into uh, early to mid June. Uh, so that's about it that wraps it up for me. I hope this was informative and you enjoyed this and there are not too many horrible news and horrible predictions in my <laughs> weekly predictions and you'll continue to come back and watch me and until then, see you next time. Bye!